The following is a paid program by Carl Sterling. The content of the show is that of Carl Sterling and does not represent the views of this station or iHeartMedia. Some of the information contained in this program has not been approved by the FDA, nor is it intended to diagnose, prevent, treat, or cure any diseases. Information hereafter is for general information only, and before considering anything discussed, you should contact your doctor or primary care physician. One pill makes you larger, and one pill makes you smaller. Your Help Matters with Carl Sterling on News Radio 570 WSYR on 1069 FM and live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. I think a couple of us, I tell a couple doubters, but nothing compares to these blue and yellow birds. Bring you the latest in health and wellness. So you can get to the other things that matter. Here's your host, Carl Sterling. All right. Welcome, everybody. Thanks very much for tuning in. And we're back again for another broadcast, episode seven for me of Your Health Matters, right here on News Radio 570 WSYR, also on 106.9 FM. My name is Carl Sterling. I am always so happy and grateful and thrilled to be your host as we explore the journey towards a longer, healthier life together. Okay, I got bad news and good news. The bad news is Dr. Walsh could not make it today. I'm very, very sorry. She had to cancel because of something happening. She's based in uh, uh, United Kingdom. Not that that matters, but she and I have coordinated that we're going to pre-record an episode and air it in a few weeks, probably by mid-April, I'd say, is a very safe bet. So she will be on the show. It will happen. I'm sorry it's not today, but we have a lot of things to talk about today, all right? In fact, today, I've been thinking about today a lot, what to fill in with, and I've got a lot of stuff to talk about. And I'm going to tell you how today I'm going to be putting myself on the line with a public commitment to certain things, okay? And I'm hoping you'll join me. First, though, I want to talk talk about Steve Abbey. Last week, thank you, Steve Abbey of SOS Nutrients. We had a lot of nice feedback from that show. That's a product that I use, okay? Um, I, I love it. You know, the thing about it is when your body gets the nutrients it needs, you're generally not as hungry as you would have been if you... So let's say you need... You know, your body's saying, hey, I'm hungry. It could be that it just needs certain nutrients that it's not getting. All right, so you go eat whatever. Maybe it's some Doritos or maybe it's, you know, uh, whatever, right? Maybe it's not something optimal. Let's put it that way. So you're full for a second, sort of, right? Maybe you're full. Well, half an hour later, 20 minutes later, hour later, you're hungry again. You're actually not hungry. Your stomach's probably not hungry, but your body is because it wants the nutrients. This is what I love about SOS Nutrients. Besides the fact that it's whole food, completely organic, and no synthetics. And if you listen to last week's episode, which is on my website, I'll talk about that in a minute, you'll hear about the manufacturing process for those synthetic nutrients. This stuff is not good, okay? You're going to be hungry still. You're not going to get the nutrients you need. But with SOS SOS Nutrients, you will get the nutrients. One uh, thing I want to mention here, apparently a couple people had trouble ordering. They got uh, into a subscription order. I can tell you firsthand, there are options, all right? So just read carefully, select carefully, and you can do a one-off, all right? And then you get 15% discount if you use uh, the following promo code in the promo box or coupon box. It's S O S one five. And then the percent sign. Okay. If you forget that, or you, you you don't have a chance to write it down. You can't remember, go to my website, www.carlsterling.com. That's K A R L then Sterling like silver.com. Go to the radio show tab. Look at our sponsors and the code is right there. Next week, we have University of Rochester best-selling author, neurologist, and a real gentleman and just a a wonderful human being who's helping people with Parkinson's, Dr. Ray Dorsey. He's going to join us. He's uh, author of a best-selling book called Ending Parkinson's. And two weeks from today, we have a special, actually two special guests, Dr. Michael Joyner from the Mayo Clinic. 
going to be talking about the benefits of exercise to in reference to longevity, benefits of a good VO2 max score. Um, and uh, additionally will be my son. I'm going to brag for a minute. Yes, I am. Nick Sterling, MD, PhD, athlete, and uh, just a really, uh, uh, you know, he's my son. Yeah, but he's a great guy. He's really smart. And he is in the camp where Dr. Barry is and where I am mentally, philosophically about nutrition, health, longevity, thinking outside the box. So is Dr. Michael Joyner. So that's going to be a wonderful show. I'm pretty much going to moderate while the two of them talk. We have updates in in my clinic, the Neuromotor Training Clinic, which is in the same building in Camillus. Excuse me. My voice is funny today. Downstairs from Dr. Barry's office. All right. We have the Biodensity Machine, which is designed to help reverse osteoporosis and osteopenia. It also helps you to gain muscle mass and gain strength. Well, guess what? We had another person come in on Friday with a DEXA scan. He is now almost completely out of osteoporosis and somewhat into osteopenia. What this means is his bone tissue, his bone mass is increasing. His bone density is increasing. He is reversing osteoporosis, and he's also gaining muscle mass because his clothes are fitting different. He is... (laughs) Well, it was, I won't go into what he said, but it was really, it was great. So I'm really proud of him for the hard work he does. He came in for his 53rd session the other day, or 54th, he, and this is in a six-month period, okay? So the thing is, is we don't get osteoporosis overnight, or osteopenia overnight. We're not going to reverse it overnight, but I'm going to tell you something. He went also from a high fracture risk to a slightly elevated fracture risk. Even Dr. Barry's like, this is significant improvement. All right. This is significant improvement in bone mass, bone density, and strength. So folks, if you're dealing with osteoporosis, I hope you'll consider looking us up or, you know, give me a call, text me 315-935-7488. It's on my website, carlstrang.com. Text, call, I'll get back to you within a day at the very most. It takes 10 minutes, maybe 15 at the longest, to complete a session on the biodensity machine. You're going to be building muscle in a way that you can't do it any other place because nobody has this around here. You're going to be triggering the production of soft bone, tribecular bone tissue by doing this machine. You can very likely reverse your osteoporosis or at least slow it down, maybe just stop it, all right? So for the price of about two massages per month, you can come in and do this. That's all it takes. That's all the investment it takes to do this. We're talking 15-minute session max, probably 10 minutes. All right, so we're going to go into longevity and health span, what we can do together to rewrite the narrative on self-care and health care, including the psychology of getting started towards improving your health and your fitness. Why do we start? More importantly, why do we quit? We'll talk about investing in yourself. If I can get to it, and it's probably not going to happen, vibration therapy, you're going to talk about benefits of that and neuroplasticity a little bit more on that. Now, on my website, I have created a members section. It's going to be $10 a month starting April 1st, but it's free if you sign up this month Go to carlstarring.com, go to the um, VIP, I believe is what it says, or member section. Click on that, sign up. Yes, you have to put in your credit card number, but if you do the March free coupon code, that is M-A-R-C-H-F-R-E-E, all one word, you will get this for free this month. All right, and then tech, ten bucks a month, you're going to get so much information because uh, new information is going up every single day, including later today. This is a, com- a community; it's a place to learn, it's a place to find out stuff that I don't have time to talk about here. All right, and you're not going to find it anywhere else. So, with that said, it's almost already time for the first break. When we come back, I want you to have a chair. I want you to have maybe a couple bottles of water or a couple cans of soup 
or something that you can use for light weights because we are going to get involved in a little bit of movement today. I implore you to actually do this with me. I know a lot of you won't, but there are some who will because we're going to show you how simple it is to get moving, how simple it is to build muscle. It's not complicated, okay? It won't even be that difficult, and you're going to feel better at the end. All right, folks, so we'll be back in a couple of minutes, and we're going to get started. Thanks for tuning in. Something happened in the economy. Inflation. Migrant crime issues. 2024. Joe Biden. Donald Trump. The next U.S. president. Ain't exactly clear. What's going to happen? Check in often. Time we stop. 570 W. Okay, we're back. I want to talk today, right now, about just getting started and maximizing your potential because we must invest in ourselves, right? Who else is going to do for do it for us? Nobody. We have to do it ourselves. If we want to live a long and healthy life. Your insurance is tied to your illnesses, not your health. Only you can invest in yourself, all right? Think about the state of health now versus in the 1970s. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. First of all, when I say this, when I come out with some of these words today, you might want not want to hear it, all right? And it's okay. But I want you to listen closely because I can tell you firsthand, I was obese, okay? I was overweight. This is going back 15, 16 years when I was weighing in the high 200s. Um, I mean, I look at those photos, and I just can't even believe how I looked. I wasn't really healthy. I got a lecture from my doctor, Dr. Pincus, you know, he was really good to me and he helped me, but I did the work, right? The state of health now versus let's say the 1970s. Think about this. I'm 63 almost. There were hardly any people out there who were obese. Very few cases of type 2 diabetes. All right. Things have changed. Food supply has changed. We don't have to move as much as we used to. You know, I can order something on my on my phone and it just shows up at my house or my work. I can order food. It's delivered to me. I don't have to go anywhere and do this if I don't want to. So we really have to cultivate our own health and invest in ourselves. We have more cognitive decline in Alzheimer's and cancers and PD and heart issues and metabolic issues happening now than ever in history. But we also have the potential within ourselves if we choose to dig in and get started so that our future self can thank us for what we're doing now. One question I say is what you're doing now, what you're eating now. Hey, by the way, I struggle with this. You know, I really love potato chips, so I eat them, but I'm trying not to pig out on on them because it's not good for me. It won't, my future self won't be thanking me if I eat a bag of chips every day, you know, a handful every day. I'm trying to stay with that, but I do eat some every day. That's like my downfall. All right. Used to be booze. Well, it's not that anymore because that's going to kill me real slowly and all my brain cells too. I don't do that anymore. I just put down the bottle and that was it. All right. So I invite you to commit along with me because I'm committing to you that I'm going to dig deep. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to discover my true potential because I'm not doing it yet. And I want you to dig deep and discover your true potential. All right, we're, and we're relative to this, we're going to do it relative to health, all right, because there are other areas of life to do this too. Health is my thing. It's what I help people with. So I invite you to please do this with me because together we can change ourselves. We can change society. If we become healthier, we have a healthier society. This is going to have a great ripple effect down the road, okay? So Think about your health span, your quality of lifespan, your athletic lifespan, your happy span. How, how, how long can you be happy? Right. For some of us, it's all of our life. For some of us, it's not all of our life. You know, I mean, yeah, life, life is full of things that happen, but we're going to talk more about that in a minute, but together we can change the narrative on self care and health care together. We could create a new mindset towards what it is to be healthy, happy, and live a long and healthy life. 
So I implore you to commit to this with me. In fact, I'm so serious about this that I want you, and I am serious, serious about this, to text or call me if you're in on this deal. If you're in, I want you to fill up. I want my phone filled up with text messages. If you need me to respond, I will. Probably won't be today because I'm going to take the rest of the day off. But if you're in, you text or you call me, 315-935-7488. Just say, I'm in. Because then I'll know I'm actually reaching somebody. I don't know if I have two listeners or 22 or, you know, 100. I don't know. If I got 3,000. I don't know what it is. We'll support each other. We'll encourage each other. And we'll help each other to dig deep and discover our greatness. So are you in? 315-935-7488. Also, if you're in, how about you consider joining my Your Health Matters radio show group on Facebook? All right, the link's on my website. Go to the radio tab. I think it's there. I, it's somewhere on my website. If you're not on Facebook, well, go to my website. Sign up for the newsletter and the emailing list, okay? Now, <clears throat> I know that a lot of you won't do this, or you don't think you need to do this, or maybe you just think it's stupid, or maybe you're miserable because you're sick of pe- people talking like this. People generally don't, they don't like, you know, I don't like the word hate because it's a very strong word, and I try not to use it, but... There are people who actually hate this kind of talk. So let's just say people generally don't like the kind of talk that I'm going to be talking. But I'm not looking for those people to join me. I'm looking for those who are ready to actually commit and not drop off. You know, we all want to be loved. We want to be cared for and appreciated. But for some of us, like when we're not, it just like acts like some type of a poison. It eats away at us like some type of a cancer. So... Let's help each other, you know? Let's help each other. Some of you, of you may feel fearful of committing to anything. Why? I don't know. For some people I know, it's fear of failure. Well, we're here to help you succeed. I am here to help you succeed. Fear of what others might say. They might think you're crazy. They might think you're nuts. They'll disapprove. They'll tell you, oh, it won't work. Well, if you don't work, it won't work. But if you work, it'll work, you know? There's good news. If this happens and they're, you know, like, hey, you know, this isn't, you shouldn't be doing this. Well, you've arrived. You're in a different place than they are. There's nothing wrong with them. There's also nothing wrong with you if you don't do it. But I know there are a lot of people listening who do want to get to the next level. But it's hard. Trust me, I struggle with this still on a daily basis. So let's help each other. All right? Because, you know, haters are going to hate. I don't want you to poison your mind with outside talk, outsider talk. You need to do this for you. And much like uh, one of my uh, heroes, David Goggins says, you just have to stay hard. You get that hard shelf. You got to do your thing. The phone's ringing right now. Looks like somebody's going to say yes. I'm so happy. And to this, I say one more thing. Okay. What I have a motto and I mean this respectfully. If I'm not hurting anyone, I'm living with integrity and I'm doing what I know is right for me What other people think of me is none of my business. I don't care. But I'm not going to go around treating people poorly. It's not like I'm going to just, you know, do bad things and hurt people. No, I'm investing in me and my future because if I do that, I can be better for others. I live a life of serving others. I didn't do that. I was very self-centered for a long time. I'm not like that anymore, folks. You know? What I aspire to every day is to serve others and do a better job of doing it every day. It ain't about me. It's about we. Now I don't know who said that, and I did not make it up, but I think it might have been Muhammad Ali. It ain't the me show. It's the we show. There's a big difference between self-serving and becoming a better person so you can serve others better. All right, so for most of you, you have no idea how great you really are because you're using minimal amounts of what you have. This includes me. I'm with you. But you have the ability to dig deep and discover how great you are. But most people, they're not going to do it. They keep looking outside of themselves for some magic answer, a pill, a fad diet, a supplement, and maybe going to another seminar. 
to get motivated. Oh my gosh, that's so me. How many seminars did I go to over the years? Dozens. You get all motivated, but there's a big difference between motivation. It can be great, but it ain't going to get you anywhere without discipline. Because discipline is what allows you to discover your greatness. I've been a million seminars, you know, looking for answers. The answer was in within me, and I didn't even know it, but now I do. So we have to extract the answers and our own greatness from ourselves, which perhaps could be just nothing. I mean, that's how I feel. And only you can do this, but we can help each other because no pill, diet, fad, or seminar is the magic answer. Okay, so I'm looking at commitment and discipline as being the answers, right? In fact, I'll even venture to say that most people, I didn't make this one up either. I took this from Bob Proctor, all right? Look him up. He was a cool guy. He passed away two years ago. Most people tiptoe through life hoping to get safely to death. Yeah, I know, right? Most people tiptoe through life hoping to get safely to death. And yes, I was one of those people. I was tiptoeing, walking on eggshells, didn't want to offend anybody, was afraid of what people would say of me when I start doing something. You know what? I got to look into the future. We need to look into the future because it's going to get here. Oh, my gosh, I said it last week. I'm saying it this week. I'm going to be 63. How did that happen? When I was 30, I figured I'd never get this old because it was so far away. Well, here I am. And I don't want to be, I do not want to be, and you don't want to be lying in your bed when you're 70, 80, 90, and be mad because you didn't want to find your willpower. You know, maybe 70, 70, 75% of you is still stuck inside you because you never dug it out. Well, I bet you like at least half of me, oh gosh, no, 75% of me is stuck in me because I haven't dug it out yet, but I'm going to dig it out. All right. So. I don't want to be mad and think down the road. I shoulda, I coulda, but I didn't do it. I can't afford this to happen to me and to my family. All right? We're going to head out for a break. You're listening to Your Health Matters. My name is Carl Sterling. This is News Radio 570, WSYR, and also available on 106.9 FM. Get those water bottles because we are going to use them, and get a chair because we're going to use it. We'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, folks, we're back. We're going to talk about two items here that are game changers for your, you know, how you feel. Okay. First one is for those who were listening during the Dr. Emily episode on February 11th, I think it's like three weeks ago, Numboso insoles are here and they're in my clinic. All right. These are a special textured insole. We put them in your shoes. It's going to wake up those sleepy nerves in the bottom of your feet. It's going to give you more sensory input to your brain through your nervous systems, peripheral and central. It's going to cause your brain to send out an immediate response, a better response, a more optimal response so that you stabilize better. I have used these for many, many years. I've, uh, I did a nine-person a little pilot data study in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. And, um, you know, I, I can put that on my website and you'll see about it. But bottom line is we have had verified results. There's a lot of research behind these things. The people in Mexico, there were nine. None of them have a sense of, had a sense of smell. Most of them weren't uh, walking too well. They all had Parkinson's disease. And I did this in the first week of July, six years ago. And by December, all... Uh, nine people had their sense of smell back. You know why? Because they were moving, because they were able to move better. Some of them started running. They hadn't run in decades, like a decade or you know, 15 years, 17 years from one lady. That one lady who's a, a PhD went back to work at the university to teach her chemistry, right? And she's able to walk around now, walk with carrying a hot cup of coffee and not, you know, doesn't have to worry about spilling it on her. These are game changers, okay? They're $55.00. Per pair, yep, sounds like a lot, but guess what? They're going to last you at least a year, and they're going to help you in ways you cannot imagine. These are not typical orthotics. They're not orthotics. They are insoles with a texture to stimulate your sensory input 
and you're going to pay 80 bucks online. You pay 55 through me at my clinic. We also have another product here that I have been recently introduced uh, to called Play On Relief. This is a spray-on pain relief that is like nothing else I've ever uh, experienced before. So Play On Relief. This is um, all organic. There's no chemicals. There are no, there's no pharma. There's no drugs. This is a natural ingredients that cannot hurt you. They will help you. All right, so we have this in my clinic now, and you can buy bottles from me. You can also go to playonrelief.com, just how it sounds, playonrelief.com. And if you enter a coupon code STERLING15, all together, S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G, 1-5, at checkout, you're going to save 15%. This stuff Every single person I've used it on, except for one, and it was a weird, uh, strange nerve situation that he has uh, post-surgery, but out of probably 20 or so other people, they're getting instant relief, and it lasts a lot longer than a lot of the other stuff that has the chemicals in it, right? But this doesn't have the chemicals. So definitely go there. Check that out, playonrelief.com. Sterling15 is your discount code to save 15%. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to stand up, all right? I'm standing. I'm standing. And while I talk, I want you to be sitting back down in your chair and then standing up again. So let's do it together. Let's start off. Let's sit down, but I want you to sit slow. Don't hurt yourself, all right? If you need to use the arm to the chair or you need assistance, you need a walker, whatever it is, don't hurt yourself. Do what you can, not what you can't. Sit slowly for me. It'll take about four seconds to go down. Ready? Go. One. Two, three, four. Drop if you need to. Now, stand up. Do it again. Down. One, two, three, four. Go. I want you to do 12 of these for me if you can. Do what you can, not what you can't. We'll get to the next exercise in a minute. Keep doing this while I talk. All right. Let's see. Where the heck am I here anyways? Um, I seem to have lost my place. We're going to support each other. We're going to engage and looking into the future. Yep, I talked about that. I talked about how I well, I don't want to be land in a bed in 10, 20, 30, 40 years because I do plan to live to 100. I will. I'm just saying I'm going to do that. Saying I should have, could have, but I didn't. All right? Commitment, commitment and consistency are going to be the key. Are you still squatting? Come on. Keep going. I want you to work those legs. You need those legs. So without commitment, you'll never start. Without consistency, you'll never finish. If you fall t- down seven times, you've got to get up eight times. You know, I, wanna, I don't want to shame anybody into this. I, I use this for my own uh, motivation to get me started sometimes, is I have people who can barely walk, who schlep their bodies into my clinic. One of them came in yesterday, a very dear friend. He has PPMS which when Dr. Walls is on, she will talk about it because she has it too. Well, exhausted, comes in and he does the work two, three times a week for four years. Guess what? There's a reason he's still moving. It's because he does the work. So I look and I, and I have other people too, right? I mean, there's a lot of people who come in, they can barely get in sometimes, but they're there and they show up. And I look at myself and I say, you can walk, no problem, Carl. But you don't feel like doing something? Well, shame on me. Shame on you. Shame on me, right? I mean, I have other stories I can tell you, but I have too much other stuff to talk about it. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Don't look for the easy way out. Hardship makes us who we really are, and it shows us what we're made of, right? I also have people, and I'm sorry if you're listening and I trigger anything bad in you. I don't mean to do that, but this is a fact of life. I have people who have lost children and spouses, all their siblings, and maybe lost their parents at a very, very young age. They've lived lives of extreme challenge and difficulty, and they're doing the work, and they're coming in. So I have to ask you this respectfully. What is your excuse? All right. 
Let's do this. I want to start today by creating one good day. By the way, if you're done squatting, let's go to the next exercise. I want you to take those water bottles or soup cans or whatever you have in your hands. I want you to put them down by your side. And um, I don't need that. I'll just, I unplugged my headset, but um, I'm still on the air, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm moving around over here. I knocked the cord out of the thing. Okay, so... I want to create a good day. Okay, but before we do that, we're going to use this to help us create a good day. All right, so I want you to put your hands down by your sides. Stand up. Sit if you absolutely have to. Take those cans. Lift your arms straight out to the sides. Lock your elbows. Lock the arms out. Bring your hands up to shoulder height if you can. If it hurts, just go as high as you can. Don't hurt yourself. Come down slow. All right? Again, up. Good, good, good. All right, down, down, slow, slow. Three, four seconds down. You keep doing that. Stop when you need to. Shoot for 12, 15, 10, 5, 20. I don't care what it is. Just do it. Let's commit by having one good day right now together. So I invite you to create a good day. All right, so for most of us, really, when it comes down to it, it's a choice. You know, I look at the weather. Oh, Bob Lounsbury. I got to tell you, I really like that guy especially today, the gratitude portion. I mean, that was beautiful today. Thank you, Bob. Hope to meet you one day. But he also said something the other day. And I used to be, before we go on a break in about 25 seconds, I used to be like this. Oh, man, winter's here, no sun, and I feel sad. I got like SAD, sun, whatever, something deficiency. And, and I'm not trying to knock that, but you know what? I live here. I choose to live here. I'm going to make it a good day. All right, so let's have a good day and then have another one tomorrow and build momentum together. We're going to come back and talk more about this in a few, a couple of minutes. Thanks for tuning in to Your Health Matters, News Radio 570 WSYR. We'll be back shortly. Daydream. One man's daydream. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Is the rest of our nightmare. Joe Biden is way too old to be president. As the countdown to November continues on News Radio 570 WSYR. <clears throat> Excuse me. So apparently I have at least nine listeners because I got. One phone call and eight text messages, and uh, people are in. This is so exciting. All right. So we're going to create a good day. Okay, Bob Lounsbury, you know, right? I listen to his show a lot when I have time. And he was saying the other day that he has adjusted to just make it a good day, like the weather. Or whatever. I don't let the weather bother me anymore. I used to, though. It was like, oh, my gosh, winter's coming, and it's going to be five months of depression and I would get that way but what am I going to do about it you know yeah I, once in a while I travel during the winter maybe a vacation for a few days somewhere south or I, I go to Mexico and teach but still I got the rest of the winter here right so I but I don't I don't get bothered by that I can't get bothered by that because there's nothing I can do about the weather except move and I'm not going to do that I love it here, all right? So there are a lot of things in life that we can get caught up in and we can't do anything about. But there are things we can do. I want to give you something to think about here. But before we think about anything, I want you to stand up now. Okay, we're going to stand up again. And you're going to have the bottles in your hand this time. So I want you to stand up, put your arms out to the side. Okay, oh no, front, front. Let's do front raises. When you did lateral raises out to the side, you're working in your medial or middle deltoid shoulder, right? So let's do anterior. So now you're going to start with your hands right in front of you, standing up. And as you sit down, I want you to bring your arms down to your lap with those water bottles or the soup cans. Stand up, arms up, hands at shoulder height. They don't need and they shouldn't be above shoulder height. And if you can't get to shoulder height, do what you can, not what you can't. We don't want anyone getting hurt, all right? Do that. Stand up, arms out in front, sit down, bring them down. See, you can exercise at home. You don't even need weights. You already have them. Cans of soup, peas, whatever, you know, bottles of water. All right, so <clears throat> let's think about this while you do that. Just do what you can. Do 10, 12, 15, 5, it doesn't matter. I want you to do it until you feel it and then stop and take a break, and we'll do another exercise before we're out. 
one bad day, one day with no exercise, one day slacking won't break you. One bad meal, one cigarette, one drink, one piece of cake won't kill you. On the other hand, for those who eat poorly, drink a lot, smoke, and don't ever exercise well, one healthy meal, one workout, they're not going to make you healthy either. Lifestyle determines your health and your health span, your quality of life. So you may not like a lot of what you need to do, but let's start by embracing what it is that we don't like. You have to embrace the the blank. There are a lot of words you could put in there. The challenges, the uh, discomfort, whatever, because this is going to make you, all right? I mean, there are points where I even create my own like fake reality and I have to envision something more powerful than me, perhaps a vision of my future self. June 5th, I turned 63. Guess what? My belly's going to be gone. This is Operation Belly Be Gone for me. I'm getting this belly gone no matter what because this this is going to get me out of bed and you need to find something that's going to get you out of bed and drive you. Now, there are different types of motivation, and let's say people sometimes are driven by an external thing. Oh, I got to fit into this suit for a wedding or a party or an appearance or whatever. Or maybe it's an internal thing like, I just want to feel better. That's me these days, okay? Excuse me. So, folks, remember to go to my website, carlsterling.com. And look around. Recorded shows are on uh, the radio tab. If you go to the VIP, I think it is. I'm going to look right now because I keep forgetting. When we go to the VIP area in my site, in the menu, you'll see VIP access. Click that. Then go into VIP area. That's where you sign up. That's where you use March free, all one word, M-A-R-C-H-F-R-E-E. It won't charge you anything this month. If you use that April 1st, it will charge you $10 a month. You can quit any time. Become a VIP, and I can promise you that a month from now, there's probably going to be 100 things up there, whereas right now there's only a half dozen. All right, so that's why it's free this month. I want to talk about uh, a couple of people who are very dear friends of mine. All right. The first one I want to talk about is Laura Almost. Laura lives in Mexico. Laura, uh, I got to know, it's going to be five years. She, I met her and her husband in uh, Austin when I was teaching a Parkinson's workshop there. Laura has lived with Parkinson's for over a decade, and she is younger than me. I'll just say that by quite a bit. Well, guess what? She went to her neurologist a week ago or so, He just, you know, with all the blood tests and all the testing they did, they're like, wow, this is just, you are an inspiration. You know, you are moving so well. You're doing so well. And I just saw her last month when we were in, uh, where were we? I actually can't remember where we were. We were teaching somewhere. Um, Oh, boy, I forgot. Mexico City. I think. No, Puebla. We were in Puebla. Okay, yeah, both. actually both places I I had to go. So anyways, teaching here and teaching there. But the big one was in Puebla, Mexico. And, you know, I'm watching her. I'm listening to her voice, her articulation, and watching her move. Her doctor has told her, because you exercise every single day pretty much. I'm talking, this gal goes out every day and does stuff. She's fighting back. That is going to slow disease progression. That's what it's done for her. Thank you, Laura, for being such a a huge inspiration. Russ Parker, my brother from Long Island. Russ Parker, same exact thing. You know, I don't know how many years, seven, eight, nine, ten years with Parkinson's. He's just a little older than me, not much. But I'm telling you, this guy is, he's a game. He and Laura are two of my biggest inspirations. Inspirations. By the way, Russ, happy birthday yesterday, brother. Okay. So think about this, folks. There are people living with conditions and health issues that are 
probably for a lot of us way worse than we're having to deal with. It doesn't diminish anything you deal with like, oh, you know, it's not important. Like, you know, my blood clotting issues, for example, I had to be careful, but I'm okay. I know that exercise is going to help me in every way. And so um, let's, let's also go into diet just for a minute, one minute. All I'm going to say about that is this. Do you live to eat? I hope not. Or do you eat to live? I recommend eat to stay alive because we weren't put on this planet to just eat. All right, let's recap today. I got a lot of messages. I even have more phone calls coming in. You're in. You're in. All right, so Carl, K-A-R-L, at neuromotortraining.com is my email. CarlSterling.com is my website. 315-935-7488 is my phone number. You call me. You text me. I'll get back to you. Also remember that at our clinic, we have the biodensity machine. Uh, in probably two weeks or maybe three, we're going to talk about vibration therapy because we also have the top end power plate. Before we had biodensity, I had power plate for close to two years, and we still have it. This is the top end plate. This is whole body vibration. There's so much you can benefit from, all right? Circulation, decrease or diminish or get rid of neuropathy. We can stimulate brain activity. We can decrease pain, increase bone density, joint stability, spinal stability. We can get lymphatic fluid going. We can work on posture, work on digestive issues, all with vibration, especially the whole body vibration. If you need pain management, we do it. We're very effective at pain management. All right? You come in, Elizabeth and me, we welcome you with open arms to come to our clinic, 315 935-7488. Biodensity is a standalone program for the price of not even two massages per month. All right? You can build your bone density. You can reverse your osteoporosis, osteopenia. You can build muscle mass. You can perform better, feel better, live longer. Reduce your fall risk. Reduce your fracture risk. Risk, okay? We have 20 seconds to go, folks. Remember to text me if you're in 315-935-7488. Go to the website. Sign up for the member thing. March free is the promo code. It's free this month. We'll be back next week with Dr. Ray Dorsey, U of R. Thanks for listening to Your Health Matters, WSYR. Thank you. The proceeding was a paid program by Carl Sterling. The content of this show is that of Carl Sterling and does not represent the views of the station or iHeartMedia. Some of the information contained in this program has not been approved by the FDA, nor is it intended to diagnose, prevent, treat, or cure any diseases. Information has been for general information only, and before considering anything discussed, you should contact your doctor or primary care physician.